What's up guys? Thank you for joining me today. And oh, we have some good news guys. As always, Ripple won the court today and it was amazing. And I will share with you some details of what happened. It's going to be very good. Before you watch the video guys, don't forget to subscribe, like the video and uh, drop a comment. It would uh, help my channel a lot. So let's uh, dig right in. Ripple won the right on Tuesday to pick into the Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC internal communications on how it determines whether a cryptocurrency is a security. This is very huge, guys. Like, they basically won the right to check the documents of communications and if they find anything that states something like XRP is more a, a, a currency than a security, it's gonna be over. This case is gonna be over, it's gonna be closed, Ripple is gonna win, and XRP is gonna fly very high. So you have to understand that, guys. And we have been talking about this from the beginning. If you would have listened now, you would have doubled your investment. If you would have listened to this channel. This was, we knew that this would happen, guys. And even like Ripple, XRP didn't even get relisted. It didn't even really win the case yet. Imagine all of these things happen at the same time. What will happen to XRP? The eight years taken by the re regulator to file suit against Ripple is also another angle being pushed by the cryptocurrency firm as it attempts to strengthen its argument in the five month old case. Exactly, again. They didn't say anything about XRP for eight years. Why choose now? As we said, guys, this is all a theater. In the end of the day, they are making it very interesting. They are playing games. But guys, XRP is gonna fly so high because it was all planned from the beginning. One of Ripple's lawyers, Matthew Solomon, argued it could be game over for the entire case should Ripple catch the SEC as having privately stated XRP is more like a currency than a security because that would place XRP outside the regulator's jurisdiction. So this is what they're looking for, guys. So Jeremy Hogan, the guy who's have been delivering amazing work, uh, is following the case and he actually he has a very nice YouTube video. So go check him out. This YouTube video is very amazing. He will talk about everything that happened in the court. Um, so don't forget to do that, guys, if you want even more details. What I'm telling you now is actually basically the outlines of what happened. Ripple wins access to SEC discussions on defining crypto assets as security. So this is what we have been talking about. According to Law 360, U.S. Magistrate Judge Sarah Netburn granted the defendant's motion in large part determin determining that SEC minutes or memos concerning crypto are likely discoverable. Netburn asserted staff-to-staff -staff email communications do not need to be produced. So they cannot produce files like emails. They have to be formal documents uh, stating that XRP is more currency than a security. This is actually what Ripple is looking for at the moment. And if they find it, it's going to be over, guys. And most probably they will. Most probably they will. So this is actually a very nice um, article that came out on the Ripple website, which is actually talking about the environment friendly uh, aspects of Ripple. But I want you to pay close attention because it's actually more hammering uh, Bitcoin down and Brett Garlinghouse is doing the same actually in the last few days. He's like telling that Bitcoin is not uh, efficient and stuff like that. And it would make sense if they find something on Bitcoin and XRP will take its place. So take a look at this, guys. As it stands, electricity is in historic demand as we continue to carve out a digital future set into motion much quicker than expected due to this pandemic. The repercussions of this electricity usage could reverse the environmental benefits we reap during lockdown and plunge us further back in terms of the inroads we've made around sustainability. On average, a single Bitcoin transaction consumes 700 kWh of electricity. That's a massive carbon footprint when you consider that a single transaction utilizing fiat currency like paper money consumes a mere 0 0.044. So now, XRP. 
There are monetary and environmental costs XRP simply doesn't accrue, accrue. And thanks to the XRP ledger, XRP transactions can be settled instantly without these associated energy costs as well. Bottom line, more sustainable blockchains will only encourage further adoption of cryptocurrency like XRP. People are not seeing it right now, guys. But Bitcoin is not efficient. And when XRP is going to be globally used, it's going to be a very different game, guys. And it's going to happen. You just can't see it. I can see it. And it's pretty close now. So let's take a look at this. This is also something Hogan found in a document, which is important. Hogan added that the fact found in the documents will certainly be discussed in today's court hearing. Jeremy Hogan tweeted, I am prepping for the SEC for versus Ripple case. This was before the case. Hearing and did a deep dive into some docs. And look what I found. It's the SEC stating in a public document, the digital currency company called ripple labs you can already see that the judge and everything in this case ripple is winning ripple is like 10 0 versus the sec it's crazy guys at the end i told you it's just a big uh theater and it will end soon and we will have ripple flying across the board guys so here is also some interesting stuff i want you to look at just a couple of things Although the legal process is slow, we are working to get this resolved as quickly as possible to bring clarity to the broader, broader market. Moving quickly is important because as you know, since the SEC filed its complaint, XRP lost almost half of its market value. Guys, there has to come a recompense. It cannot stay like that. They lost a lot of money. The SEC has got to pay for that. Imagine what will happen to XRP, guys. Retail holders of XRP with no connection to Ripple, the very people the SEC purports to protect, to suffer billions of dollars in losses, what's more, part of the SEC's mission is to maintain orderly markets, and yet their overreach created havoc in the market. All of this simply doesn't make sense. But we will see. Thank you for watching the video guys, don't forget to subscribe, cheers.